Hi, my name's Kevin and this is part two of the tutorial. Uh, first thing we're going to do is install something that I completely forgot to install in the previous part. It won't take two minutes, don't worry too much about it. What we're going to install is something called Git, which is known as a version management tool. So the first thing you'll do is open up your browser and you'll search for Git, G-I-T. So then you'll click the first result. And um, when you're on the first result, you'll click the blue download for Windows on the right hand side. That will then take you to a download page. Save it, obviously. Wait for it to download. Now this will take a while, so I'll be back with you in a minute. So now that it's finished downloading, you'll run the installer. And then when UAC pops up asking you, you'll click yes, next, next, next. But don't just keep clicking next, because in a moment, all of these should be ticked like this. That's default, nothing changes. But on the next screen, um, you'll select the Use Git and Optional Unix tools from the Windows command prompt. Just trust me, that's extremely useful. Next again, and then it'll start installing. This will take a while, so I'll be back with you in a moment. So what you'll actually do is log off and then log back on, which I'm doing here. So we've logged off, I'm logging straight back on. And now that we've done that, we'll move to the next part of the tutorial. Guess what? I forgot something else. We need to install something else. We need to install a package called Apache Ant. As to what it is, I'm not actually 100% sure. I think it's just a build manager, but either way, you open up your browser and then search for Ant on Windows, all one word. Click the first result, Ant on Windows, Ant Wiki. And then you should see Windows Installer for Apache Ant. Click that and then click the link underneath Get It, which is download the latest version. This will take a while so I'll be back with you in a moment. So now that's finished we're going to run the installer click yes on the UAC prompt next, next. Then you're going to choose your Java directory. Now this will be in, it won't be in your user folder, it'll be under computer then go to C, then go to program files or if you're running a 64-bit operating system program files x86, Java and then JDK 1.7 and it might have some slightly different numbers at the end at the time of you watching this video, but it doesn't really matter. This will take a while, be back with you in a moment. So now it's finished, it's telling us to log off and log back on, just like we have been doing. You can donate if you like. So now just log off and then log back on, same as before. <laughs> really sorry guys, forgot one last thing. Do you remember that note that we created before? You're going to open that and replace the platform tools with just tools. You're going to copy all that. And once you've copied it, you'll click on the start button, right click my computer, click properties, then on the left hand side, advanced system settings, then environment variables, find the path variable again, click edit, get to the end of the text, insert a semicolon if there isn't one already and paste, click OK, 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 exit everything, and we are finally done, I promise. Finally, let's get on to making our first Android app. Now, first thing we'll do is... Oh, the only thing that's changed since you left was I installed Notepad++. You can install any text editor you want. I'm not going to show you how to do this because it's really simple. If you want Notepad++, just Google Notepad++. It's a reasonably good text editor. There's also Sublime Text. And Christ, you can use Notepad if you want. I wouldn't recommend Notepad, though. Um, it works, but yeah. So first thing we'll do is we will not open that. We will open up your command prompt. And then what we'll do is we'll create our project. So to create a project, you type Ionic. Ionic. Then to start the project, type Start. Then you give it a name, so hello Android, I'm just going to call it that. You can call it whatever you want though. And then we will give it a template which is blank. There are loads of different templates, we'll go over those in another video, but for now I just use blank. Now this will take a few seconds, I'm not going to cut it out though because I want you to see what it looks like if it works. So it goes away, downloads the latest versions of the template, adds the plugins, and now it's done. So the next thing you'll do is you will go into the the project directory which is just create. So to do that you type cd or change directory, basically move to another folder, and then we'll go to the hello android folder. Quick tip, if you type he and then press tab, it'll auto-complete it for you. Hit enter, 
And now what you'll do is you'll add your platform. Now you can add iOS, Android, Windows Phone 8, whatever really. But we're just going to add Android for the time being. So just type Ionic Platform Add Android like that. It ends it. Again, not going to cut it out because I want you to see what it looks like. So you can see that's what it looks like when it works. Now that that works, we can actually get on to making the first app. So now you'll open up your folders, you'll go to your user folder. Mine's, my user is test environment, but yours will be whatever you're called. So if you're called Steve, it'll probably be called Steve. And then you'll find Hello Android, go into the www folder, and then find your index. Right click, edit with the text editor of choice. I'm going to use Notepad. And you can see, here's the code. Don't run away scared just yet. So <clears throat> what you can see here is everything above here is just setting things up. You don't really have to worry about any of that at the moment. Here is where your content goes between the body tags. So you've got an ion pane, which is like a, just a container, basically. Header bar, which is the top bar, basically, where the back button will be in things. So we'll change that to... <sighs> my first app, like that. And then in Ion Content, this is where you put your text. I'm just going to put something like, hello, Android. Now we'll save that. Just press Control and F to save it. Close out of it. And now that we've done that, we'll, open, we'll go back to our command prompt and type Ionic Build Android, like that. Hit Enter. And now it'll actually build our application. It really is that simple. So you can see it's building it. This will take a moment, but again, I'm not going to cut it out because I really want you to see what this looks like. This will take a moment, though. But in the meantime, what it's doing is it's building us an APK file, Android. I'm not actually sure what it stands for. But either way, it's building an APK file, which is like an EXE or an MSI on Windows. And what you'll do is when we have that APK file, you'll copy it to your phone by plugging it in via USB or whatever as um, soon as this finishes, but you'll copy it to your phone, open it to install it, and once you've installed it, you'll see that we have a working Android app. This won't take much longer, don't worry. There we go, now it's built. So, to find it, it'll be in go to platforms, Android, Ant build, uh, Oops, no. Where is it? I've actually forgotten. Um, resources? No. Oh, there they are. They're in the fucking folder. Derp, derp, derp. Uh, yeah, so just copy the aligned one. The other one's unaligned. Don't worry about the difference yet. I don't even know what that means. Alright, so let's... I'm now going to copy that to my phone, and I will show you the rest in a moment. So the next thing we're going to do is copy the file to our phone. <coughs> So what you should do is you find the APK file that we've got here, and then you'll copy it, as I am here. Then go to your phone, I've got a Nexus 5, paste it anywhere, it really doesn't matter. Just stick it somewhere. And we'll continue the rest on my phone. So the next thing we're going to do is install a file browser on our phone. So we're going to open Google Play, and then we're going to search for File Explorer. If you already have one installed, then great, go right ahead, use that. But I'm going to show how to install it for those that have never done this before. Now, I've got one called File Manager installed, so I'm just going to use that one. I'm going to click the Open button. Then I'm going to scroll down and find the file, which is Hello, Codo Co Hello Cordova dash debug. Click it. Then click install. If you get a pop-up warning you about um, unauthorized files or whatever, just accept it. Then we'll open it. And voila! Our first ever Android app. We got there in the end. Now, as you can see, it's incredibly basic and does nothing. But that's the foundations of what we're going to move on to in the next tutorial. So great, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.